Sagittarius, welcome to your weekend reading for March 20th through 22nd, 2020. My name's Jenny, and this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you don't know what your moon sign is, or your ascendant, your rising sign, or where Venus was, you know, you could take a look, uh, get a free natal chart. There's a link below in the description, and uh, you can take a look, because you know these are general readings. So this is for the Sagittarius Collective, basically, and if it doesn't resonate, with you or take with it what you will and and discard the rest get rid of it you don't need it but uh, you know you might resonate with your moon sign reading this weekend so take a look all right this is for Sagittarius Sun Moon rising and Venus we're taking a look first with the earth magic deck um, it's uh, just a general overall energetic spiritual help for you for the weekend what what the vibe is for this weekend, ancestors and generations. Okay, Sagittarius, you're going to be calling on your ancestors this weekend for help, so let's take a look. What do you have facing you this weekend for March 20th through 22nd, 2020? We're leaving Pisces and we're entering, we will be entering fiery Aries. So let's see what you've got facing you, Sagittarius. Another fire sign. Let's see what you got going on. Okay. All right, so facing you this weekend. Oh, this is a great card, actually. I, I love this card. We've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. In reverse. So let's see what that's about for you, Sag. Let's see what you got going on. Okay. All right, so what brought you to this? What brought you to the Eight of Swords in reverse, Sagittarius? What brought this? What happened in your past that brought this? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What happened in the past? To lead them to the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, all right. You actually have two cards that came together. All right. <laughs> Let's see what you got going on, Sag. <sighs> okay. You've got the Two of Cups in reverse. Ooh. All right. And you've got the Six of Swords in reverse. So, all right. That's quite an interesting event or events that took place. So let's see how this is going to resolve for you this weekend, Sagittarius, and then we'll get right to the reading. Let's see what this is about with all this energy and calling on your ancestors. This looks like some heavy-duty stuff for you, Sagittarius, so take some deep breaths, ground yourself, center yourself, and this is how it's going to play out for you. The lovers in reverse, so we've got made basically the marriage card or the union card and again the lover's card in reverse so might not resolve the way you want or maybe it will let's see maybe this is a resolution how you want it to work out so what's bringing you what you're dealing with first off your eight of swords in reverse normally this is uh, self-imposed and you're not seeing things clearly. You've got that blindfold on that you could take off but get and see your way out of there being isolated from the uh, you see, you're isolated. You've isolated yourself, but guess what? It's like you've taken your blindfold off. It's like you've got your moments of clarity, and you can see exactly what's going on and what you need to do. Um, the steps you should have taken um, before this happened. So let's take a look at this, Sagittarius. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> would have been a marriage, happy union, this could be work, this could be a relationship, love interest, whatever, but uh, there was a breakup, a parting of ways somehow in the past that led you to this, that led you to this Eight of Swords in reverse, and what looks to me, Sagittarius, is that normally like this would be moving on, moving, going forward, leaving these troubled waters behind for smoother sailing, even though you're going forward with little bit of pain so it looks like it looks like this ended abruptly whatever it was instead of moving forward it just ended and so because the movement didn't go forward the change wasn't made whatever it was that needed to be done whoever it was didn't move forward and I, I feel Sagittarius it wasn't you you didn't make the changes that you needed to make so the the breakup ended the parting ended whatever that is um, if this is work-related 
you, the universe may have been telling you it was time to go on and you could have done it peacefully and you didn't. So, you know, this happened to me many, many years ago. I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I didn't pay attention. I didn't heed. And so my work ended abruptly and I ended up very ill. So this to me is a washing away, the flooding, you know, the cleansing, the water is cleansing and washing things away. And then kaboom, there was an ending or a parting, a separation of ways that led you here. So you've been trapped and stuck, whatever it is, but now you're seeing things clearly. You're seeing, yeah, maybe I should have done it this way. Maybe I should have done it that way, but mm, I didn't, but you know, here I am. I've, t I've taken my blindfold off or I'm going to be taking my blindfold off this weekend. I'm going to ask my ancestors for help, help me see things clearly. I'm going to go back generations because they have all the tools that I need, whether it's, um, you know, whether it's a trade that's been handed down in your DNA, gifts that have been handed down in your DNA, whatever it is, you're going to ask your ancestors for help. And if it's regarding love, you're still going to ask them for help. It's like, you know, turning to your mom for help, asking, like, what do I do in this situation? But, um, Sagittarius, this is also, I see the swords, like you just, once you take the blindfold off and you free yourself, you will have the clarity that you need. Because right now, uh, and what's going to happen is, in spite of seeing everything that you need to do or the clarity of what happened, you also have the clarity of what's going to happen. And you see perhaps that accountability hasn't been taken. You're not going to get back together in the relationship, whether it's love or work. Um, you're not going to get back together. You've got the two right here, but that's okay because if this is a love, if this is a relationship, and you have your clarity, you see what needs to be done. But if it, if the choice is you want to work with your partner or your ex, then they're not taking accountability. So you're not going to get back together. If this is regarding a work issue, um, I would suggest, honestly, you know, you've got the moment of clarity. It's not going to get better with work anytime soon. I don't feel like it's going to resolve itself, at least for not this weekend anyway. Um, I'm working on the April readings, but right now, Sagittarius, um, you've got the moment of clarity. So this weekend, ponder it because you see, you see the breakup and you see not getting back together again, whatever the relationship is. Turn back to your ancestors, go back to your generations, work, go back to your bloodline, ask them for help, ask your great-grandmother, ask your great-grandfather, whomever it might be, ask them for help and guidance in this situation and how you should proceed because you, you're ready to see things clearly. Ask them for help to guide you and you'll be okay. Sagittarius, you will be okay. This situation this ending, this situation wasn't good and it should have ended before in a different way. But because it didn't, you weren't ready to, to make those changes. The universe or God took care of it for you and made it happen. So, um, and this would be, you know, you in the, in the romance, in the relationship, but now you're seeing things clearly and you're willing to make the changes but there's no accountability. The other person is like, yeah, no, I'm done or whatever, you know, so it's okay. You're better off without them, Sagittarius, because they're, you're on to new and better things. And it may take some time for this fort to work out because you're still in this stage right here. You're still in dealing, you're still dealing with this. This is your weekend right here is the unveiling, seeing things clearly. And that's why you need to call on your ancestors to help. But as you see things clearly, you'll see it's actually in your best interest that things don't work out and going back to the old way. If the old way worked, if the old way was working for you, it wouldn't have ended. If the old person, if the old relationship was working for you and you were working together, it wouldn't have ended. So Sag, it, 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 don't try to fix it. Don't try to bro Don't try to fix it. Because, you know, when you try to glue things back together, they're always weak. They're never as strong as they were. 
and this already wasn't strong so don't bother I'm gonna throw that out no I didn't throw it out but okay so there you go Sagittarius uh, there's your weekend read for March 20 20th through the 22nd 2020 if you haven't read with me before by all means check out the link below also because I have an introductory offer for you it's a one-time deal it's uh, saving some mega money and I do Skype readings and I also do um, phone readings so let's do this uh, this, these are times of uncertainty around the whole world, and this is a time, uh, you know, most of us are spending inside, um, and that's okay. We're letting things pass, letting things take their course as well, letting the virus kill itself out or whatever, but at the same time, this is a great time for introspection. This is a great time to do our thinking. This is a great time for our meditation, a great time to spend with our families, a great time to figure out the next step in our lives calling on our loved on our loved ones so i'm here if you need me sagittarius my mom always used to tell me to stay spiritual when i would say mom i gotta go i'm gonna have a reading and she'd say all right stay spiritual and then she'd hang up the phone so sagittarius i'm going to tell you from mom and me stay spiritual i'll see you next week